Right, um, let us start our long, long, long journey up to Hakanesia Peak. Now, I could have sworn that you can ride noise, and I'm pretty damn sure that you can. I just can't remember the button of how to uh, do it. Oh well, not a problem, we can just battle our way up. Get lovely um, EXP. EXP, yeah. Oh, I do know what I'm saying. Get some more experience points. Now I'd say this is probably one of the things that I'm not that keen on in um, Tales of Gate, Tales of Games. It's just sort of sometimes the, the amount you've got to travel on foot, just a wee bit annoying. I mean, it's not like it's a major problem, but it's when you've got to do something like this, where you've got to go from practically one end of the continent to the other. It's like, seriously. It's just crazy. Hmm. You better, Colette. Someone made a good job trying to cook that, you know. Now, we could go in here right now, but um, I don't wanna. We've got to go there later anyway, so it's not really a problem. Well, he just blindsided me. Hey. Jesus. Now, am I gonna use the uh, unison attack just yet? I'm assuming not. I think I know when I start using the unison attack. Because I wanted to make it as badass as possible. I hate these enemies, they just kind of just get in the way all the time. It's ridiculous. And Rain acquired sharpness. Yay, good for her. Still hasn't acquired a move that's gonna make it make her useful to us just yet, so. Now, are we gonna get to Hakanesia Peak without a um run in? Yay! Thank god. Yep, here we have Hakanesia Peak. And inside uh, this uh, house is Koton. Jesus Christ, that's, a, that's extortioner. 100 million gold. Seriously. What kind of crazy business are you doing here, mate? Um, no, he didn't. But the, yeah, Claire is the joke. Ow, brain. Totally, 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 totally. Um, this isn't a like really bad lie or anything. The spiritual statue, okay. Well, wow. he's pleasant, isn't he? Ugh. What a dick. 
Hm? Why? Oh. That's not good. People tell us not to go to Palma Costa! Guess where we're going! Road trip to Palma Costa! Yeah! I know! He's such an avaricious old geezer. <laughs> I know! They grow up so quickly, don't they, Rain? It is indeed. And Genus is so, so right. Now, if you were wondering, avaricious it means that you have or you show an extreme greed for wealth or material gain. And it's absolutely perfect for coat on there. He's avaricious in every sense of the bling word. Now I'm just going to make sure we get back to uh, Palma Costa in a decent time, but we, we can stop by, do our bit of murdering of um, animals on the way. We'll be fine. Nobody will know. Nobody's gonna get injured at all, are they? Right, now range recover is gonna come in handy, if only for doing that for now. Now we're going to leave Rain as trying to get her into an S type because uh, by the time we get to. Yeah, it's quite far into the game actually that we're going to need her for that purpose. Right, we're going to be heading this way! I'm going to get blindsided. Yeah, I thought we were going to get blindsided again, and I did! Thankfully, it's just two giant beetles. Ooh. Like that one. Now, as I said, when we've got Beast, you can use, like, level 2 arts after level 1 art, so... Fierce Demon Fang there is level 2 of well, its technique. This game uses technique rather than art, as most other Tales games do. Um, so you can go from a Sword Rain straight into a um, Fierce Demon Fang. Which is quite awesome. As you're going to start seeing now, I'm going to start using it more frequently. Ooh! Typical that I was just murdering someone as... Can I use that move? That would have been so cool. Now the awesome thing about Fierce Demon Fang is that it cuts through, like, um, blocking. It does take up a hefty amount of TP though, which sucks. Oh well. Oh, I hate 
bad scene. I actually kind of like it. It's it's nice. It's got it's got heart to it. And there's Palma Costa. Let's hurry. D stupid monster. Let's stop those bleeding designs. Oh God! Yeah. Lord Magnius approaches. This game's dark, man. Dark. It's Magnius from the Eastern Ranch. What magnificent Lord red hair! Magnius, vermin. Jesus Christ! On a bike. This woman defied wow. the wishes of the great Lord Magnius and refused to provide us with supplies. Therefore, while the designated death count has been exceeded, we have been granted orders to carry out this woman's execution. Damn it! Why isn't the city militia doing anything to stop this? Most of them are out on training exercises right now. The designs must have waited for this opportunity. Slimy jerks. Mom! Stop right there, woman. If you interfere, we'll make you suffer in ways that will leave you begging for death. You think Governor General Dorr will let you get away with this? Dorr? <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, woman. No! You disgusting little vermin! What a dick. Um, by the way, um, this dick, Magnius, is voiced by Chris Edgeley. Um, I can't really find anything that's particularly notable in his thing. Lloyd, uh, stop. Do you want to turn this city into the next Isalia? Uh, you can look him up on IMDb yourself. have a non-aggression treaty with the Desiants. How can I guess the best I can do is he down from Naruto Shippuden, whoever the dad is. People standing right in front of us. Lloyd's right. I won't just stand here and let this happen. You! Your wanted criminal number 0074, Lloyd Irving. Oh, oh no. no. I have got no so one, essentially. So you're boy with the X-Sphere. <laughs> this is perfect! After I take that X-Fear from you, they'll make me the leader of the five Grand Cardinals. Get oh, shut them! it. Chris Edgley is the voice of Sid Highwind in Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, Dirges Severus, and Kingdom Hearts 2. Amateurs. Yeah, you struck your stuff, genius. Show those dicks you what you're made of. Idiots. Enough of this! I'll take care of this woman first. No. Boosh. What the? Ugh. You let us respect the wishes of the chosen. Quite right. The Chosen? She is the Chosen? The Chosen herself has come to save us? Do you all realize what you're doing? If you defy the Desions, this city may be attacked just like Isalia. That's right. And I know full well what I'm doing. I won't repeat the same mistake again. I'll destroy them all. The entire ranch! Lloyd, that's insanity. They're only after Colette and me anyway. And besides, we have the Chosen on our side. The savior who will regenerate the world. Right, Colette? Yep. I'm 
I'm going to fight for everyone's sake. Awesome. Oh, Lady Collect, the great chosen of mana. I give up. You're all hopeless. But I'll help since I'd be worried about you otherwise. Professor Sage, thanks. Damned little. Enough of this crap! I'm leaving them to Screen you. me. Get rid of them! Jeez, you've got some anger management issues, Mr. Magnius. Ugh. How dare you lay a hand on Lord Magnius! You're all dead! No, you're dead! This is gonna be a piece of cake! <laughs> because I'm gonna use a unison attack on you, you dick! Take that! Not quite as cool as I thought it was gonna be, but we'll get some more awesome ones later on, so that's good. You just got a badass kick to the whatever. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving my mom. Oh, it's okay. I don't know what I would have done if they'd murdered my mom as well. As well? My husband volunteered in Governor General Dor's army and was killed in a battle against the Desions. And my mother was taken to the ranch. It was Grandma that originally founded our shop. We have to protect it, not just for ourselves, but also for Grandma's sake. For when she returns... I'm sorry, but I'd better get going soon. Um, it's almost time for the next Asgard what's pilgrimage. The name of this Asgard place again? pilgrimage? I work at the Church of Martell uh, Travel Agency. It was marbles, wasn't but it? But it's not like I believe in Martell or anything. Oh. Sugar, how can you say such a thing? I know. I know. I'm grateful for the Chosen. But Martell didn't protect Dad or Grandma. Definitely didn't protect time, Grandma. It wasn't Martell, but the Chosen and her companions that saved Mom. How can anyone believe in a goddess that sleeps while we suffer? Very I true, Shokola. But I still think Martell exists. You think? I'm sure of it. She exists inside you and me. Well, if the Chosen says so, then I'll at least try to believe. Good on you, Chocolat. Are there really people that want to go on a trip right after what just happened here? It's after events like this that both those with and without faith feel the need to go on a journey in search of salvation. This is quite true. That pretty much sums it up. Well then, thank you all very much. Bye, Chocolat. Uh, if you want to know, Chocolat is voiced by Hunter Austin. But I will be going in more into that VA later. So, yes, yeah, let's, um. I guess go find stuff. Yay!